guess what guys come a little closer all right that's close enough guess what guys I cut my hair look <laughs> so that's what it looks like I cut my hair and I did it all myself. Now I'm gonna go to the barber and get him to clean it up because it's been what, 10 years since I took barbering, but I did a pretty good job being that I'm using Ray's barbering tools that he used to cut his mustache with. Okay, y'all don't tell him because he don't know yet. <laughs> you actually seen it before him. How fabulous are you guys, right? Pretty much, I'm gonna walk you through how I did it. Um, I actually took some footage of me shaving it but I deleted it like a freaking jerk off so sorry but I'll tell you everything you need to know and all questions that you may have or your feedback what you think about it you can you know while it may look like a large portion it really was only 10 locks here's my locks here uh, and I counted them is actually 10 you want to see them up close And I measured them, they're about 11 inches long. You know, so it was just 10 locks on the side. I just wanted something different. And I always hated these this side of my locks right here. These locks, I, I didn't like them. I don't like the shape of them. I just didn't like how, I didn't like it. So this was actually perfect and something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I promised myself when I lost my first 50 pounds I was going to cut it, and I didn't quite lose 50, but I lost like 22 so far. I gained back a couple because I did lose 28 sidebar to that, but I lost about 22, and like I said, it's summertime, so I figured what the hell. Plus, my girl, Glamazzini, hey girl, she cut her hair off, but she's about to have a baby. I'm so happy for her. She's about to have a baby, so she's going to cut all her hair off, so she just shaved the one side for now. So I literally just watched her video and said, you know what, I'm going to do it myself. And literally, I did it myself. So, how did I do it? All right. all right. The first thing I did was I held my locks out, and I just took a scissors. I held my locks out, and I untwisted them so that it, I can see the root, and I cut right where the lock started. So... If you're ever interested in cutting your lock, I'll show you. If you can look right here, let me get something to hold it up with. If you look right there, what side? You see how blunt it is and how I cut it right there? I just cut the root part and I was able to comb it out. So it was like about one inch of hair left there after I cut it all off. Actually, it was about three inches. So after I cut it all off, I took my scissors and I held it out and cut it down to about one inch. And then I took a one inch, uh, I took one of those shavers, what do you call those things? A clippers? Yeah, clippers. And I put the one inch guard on it. Mind you, I looked all this up on YouTube. Yes, YouTube. I put the one inch guard on it because like I said, I had not barbered since 10 years ago. I have not even touched the clippers. Anyway, so I put the one inch guard on it and I, mm, mm, got it down low enough to where I can deal with it and then I took the guard off and just lined up the edges so like I said it's not perfect I'm gonna go to the barber sometime this week and let him fix it up I want a little lines all that stuff and then of course I'll come back and show you guys but that's pretty much exactly what I did this morning when I cut yeah I know it's I know I know it's a bit out there for some people most people actually and some people are like you wait so long for your hair to grow but on top of the fact that I wanted to do it, and it's my hair, of course, being going through this journey has taught me one thing, that I have healthy growing hair, so there's no need to be afraid of the scissors. Now, we'll be together on this journey when I decide I want to let it grow back. Child, okay? But I ain't gonna, I'm not even going to focus on that right now. Right now, I'm just going to enjoy it. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um... Some of you might be upset, some of you might not, some of you might think it's fierce, some might not, not. You know, hey, I do how, I, I, you, you know how I do by now, so, yeah, this is it. And like I said, it's only just one little section, and I just wanted to show you. Here's the other side. 
If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I colored my hair and I changed up the color formation on this side also. I did all that before I decided. Like I said, I literally changed up the color a little bit. If you can see hints of purple in there. I have a variation of colors. Um, if you'd like to see the process, I was going to shoot a video, but my camera died. Side eye to the flip cam. So, I chronicled it on Instagram. So, go ahead and check me out. That's my Instagram. And you'll be able to see the coloring process, what the hair looked like before, all that good stuff. Alright? And me with a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fierce shower cap on. <laughs> Alright, so I just wanted to share it with you. Feel free to leave your feedback down below. I really hope I don't lose some of you guys because I still have locks and I still will be styling it. But, you know, I just got to do me. Alright? <laughs> Thanks for watching. She works hard for the comments, so you better hit that like.